Oh my gosh, if this doesn't even look good, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm just gonna be here with cabbage under my eyes until further notice. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are trying out some more viral TikTok beauty hacks. I haven't done one of these videos in a little while and I've been missing them, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys haven't seen my previous ones, definitely check them out because they were pretty good, if I say so myself. I'll link them all in the description as well as the eye in the corner. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess if you guys want to see me try out some viral TikTok beauty hacks, then let's get on into the video. Okay guys, so I've brought you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see what's going on on my face. But the first hack we're going to be testing out is this one right here. Now this is from a user called Michelle W. Park and she is saying that this is a trick that she has learned from her Asian mum. And it's basically a hack to get rid of your puffy eyes using cabbage. So this TikTok literally has 2.6 million views views and I wonder how many of those people that watched it will actually try this hack. I'm just sort of thinking why cabbage? Like of all the vegetables you could have picked, why cabbage? Do you know what? I'm gonna google this. Like does cabbage have like amazing skin properties? I need to know. So Google says that cabbage keeps your skin looking health toned, blemish free and glowing. It's rich in antioxidants including vitamin C and beta carotene. I'm sure that's true when you consume it, but does it still give you those benefits when you just slap it on your skin? I guess we're gonna find out. I've got a cabbage right here. It is fresh out the fridge. It is cold. This is also a very spiky cabbage. Look at that. Okay, so I've torn off little bits like this, just like she did, and she says to kind of like tear it a little bit to get all the juices out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I honestly can't believe I'm doing this, like. I'm literally putting cabbage on my eyes. I mean, I've done like the whole cucumber thing before and I still don't think that really does that much, but let's try the cabbage technique. Okay, here we go. First one. Is it gonna stay? That stays pretty good. Okay, so they're sticking pretty well to my face. Like, I don't need to do anything. They're just stuck on there now. She doesn't actually say how long to keep this on your face for, so I'm just gonna be here with cabbage under my eyes until further notice. A few moments later. Okay, this cabbage has gotten really warm really quick. Like my face has definitely heated it up extra quick. <laughs> to be honest, I'm glad that I'm trying this out because I just woke up and my eyes are always super puffy in the morning. So let's peel it off. I've had it on for a few minutes now. Dude, wait, what? Hang on a minute. I literally had like puffy eyes up here and it's just sunken in. It's sunken down to the rest. What? I mean, they're still a little bit puffy, but like visually, it's not like a three dimensional puffiness anymore. Like it's not sticking out. I'm sorry, but what the hell? This actually worked like the puffiness under my eyes is pretty much gone. I don't understand, how did this work? I wanna know if it's something in the actual cabbage leaf or is it just the fact that it was really cold and it just made my sort of puffy eyes go, but genuinely I was so skeptical of this hack and it actually worked. Well, what do you know? I'm now gonna be putting cabbage slices under my eyes every morning. Okay, moving on to the next viral TikTok beauty hack, we're gonna be trying out this one, which is actually by a user called Lil Extra. Now, even though she's the one showing the makeup hack it's actually a trick by Wayne Goss and I honestly love his videos so much he's very insightful when it comes to makeup so I really want to try this now this hack is for those of us who struggle with creasy and cakey under eyes I feel like it's a struggle for a lot of people personally I struggle with creasy eyes all the time my eyes are always going really patchy underneath they're quite dry so I really want to try this hack out okay so the first step she does is she applies her concealer under her eyes so I'm just gonna be using the born this way multi sculpting concealer and she applies it right here and then up here. So I'm just gonna do that on both sides. She then starts working the concealer into her skin and just like buffing it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh no, I feel like I actually added a bit too much. If you guys do this hack, 
definitely realize that less is more. Also, whilst I'm just blending this into my skin, I saw another little tip that I never considered on TikTok as well, and it basically said to never apply foundation underneath your eyes and then conceal it on top because that also makes it prone to creasing. So basically, if you apply your concealer only under your eyes and then your foundation all around, then you are less likely to crease, which I actually feel like makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna try and do that from now on. The next step she does is she takes a little bit of tissue. So I'm just gonna fold a bit of tissue in half and then I'm gonna dab the excess of that concealer away from underneath my eyes and god knows I need it because I put way too much on. Wow, look at that. That has picked up a lot. And that is a lot of concealer I didn't need under there. So that is also gonna save it from creasing. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye as well. Just tap off all the excess. And the very last step she goes in with is she takes a damp beauty blender and she just bounces that in and she's pushing that product into her actual skin. And she explains that that basically just means that it's going into the actual pores and it's not just sitting on top. And it's actually gonna end up looking like real skin and in turn, it's not gonna crease as much. So I'm really excited to see if this will actually work because I feel like I've tried so many techniques and my eyes just always end up looking creased anyway. So please. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking pretty fresh. Like it's looking really good. It doesn't actually look cakey at all. I have got random bits of glitter under my eyes now. I don't know where that came from, but Apart from that, it looks good. I'm now just gonna set it with some translucent powder. I'm actually gonna use it on a beauty blender, which is another technique I have seen a lot on TikTok, just to kind of get that really nice flawless under eye. So I've just picked up a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna pat that under my eye. I don't do this an awful lot because I always think that putting powder, like a lot of it under my eye is just gonna make it even more dry. But I feel like if you just add a little bit, it doesn't like make it cakey or dry. It just kind of sets it nicely. Okay, so that is my under eye nice and set. I guess we're gonna judge it at the end whether it has creased or not because creasing doesn't happen straight away. So I'm now just gonna finish off the rest of my foundation and I'll be right back. All right guys, so now that my foundation is finished, it's now time to move on to the next hack which is actually an eyeshadow hack. This one was actually posted by Tarte Cosmetics and it's this hack to basically apply your eyeshadow in like strips. So going from the darkest shade into the like inner corner highlight. And once you've applied it all in lines, like separate lines, you then take a big blending brush and kind of blend it all together. And it's supposed to give you this really easy, quick, smoky eye. Honestly, I don't know if this is actually a hack that you would use and save time with, but I really thought it was quite cool. So I want to try it out. So for the eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using my Roxy X Revolution Cozy Vibes palette. This palette is literally perfect for this because it has so many bronzy, like warm toned kind of shades as well as pinks. So I'm gonna go for like a bit of a smoky eye today. So first things first, I'm gonna take the shade Leaves and I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner of my eye. Just gonna apply it in a line just like they did. I'm then gonna take the shade Hot Chocolate which is slightly lighter in color and I'm just gonna apply that next to it. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Snug, which is even lighter, and I'm gonna apply that right in the center of my eyelid. And lastly, I'm gonna take a combo of Knit Sweater as well as Chill, and I'm just gonna apply that right in the inner corner of my eye with a slightly smaller brush, just for a bit more precision. And then to finish it all off, I'm gonna take the shade Fairy Lights and just use that as my inner corner highlight. I'm now gonna take the small blending brush from my Roxy X Revolution All You Need brush set, and I'm just gonna start blending everything together from the outer corner to the inner corner. Okay, that is looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of just blended all into one shade. I guess that's kind of to be expected with like the movement of using just one brush to kind of blend it out all together. But it doesn't look bad by any means. It was actually a really nice, easy way to achieve this like smoky eye. But to be honest, I feel like I could have done that much quicker by just doing it the regular way. But at the same time, it definitely works and I do like the finish of it. It was just a little bit of fun, I guess. Would I actually use this hack on a day-to-day -day basis? Probably not not, but it was definitely fun to try and it does kind of work. I'm just gonna repeat the same thing to the other side and then we're gonna focus on the eyeliner hack, which I'm so excited for. All right, so moving on to the next hack, we are trying out probably one of the most ridiculous TikTok hacks I've ever tried. And that is this one right here. This is by a girl called Kat Longoria. And honestly, I don't know how she came up with this idea, but it seems to work really well. She basically takes this like bandage plaster looking tape and she takes 
tapes it under her nose and then up to the corner of her eye, which then basically indicates the perfect angle at which her eyeliner should go. Honestly, once she's done with it, it looks absolutely incredible. It looks so even as well, which is definitely a big struggle of mine. I can never get my eyeliner to be exactly even. Now, I really wanna try this hack out, but the only tape I have is this tape. This is the frog tape, which isn't that sticky. It's like a painter's tape. So you can kind of use it on walls and stuff and it won't peel the paint off. So I figured this would be sticky enough for my face, but also not too sticky that it pulls my skin off. So I guess we're gonna try it with this tape. I don't know if this is gonna work out the same way, but we're just gonna try it. Okay, so I've got my bit of tape. This is gonna feel so ridiculous. I'm just gonna tape it under my nose like she did. <laughs> and then I'm gonna... Tape it up. Is that the right angle? I honestly don't know. I'm gonna have to like verify this in a mirror in a sec, but that is basically what she did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take myself seriously like this. Okay, I have to adjust it. It's not quite right. I'm just gonna put it here. I just have to lift this on a tad because otherwise I'd probably get a really droopy eyeliner. <sighs> I'm a nose breather, so this is really difficult because I can't breathe now. She then takes another little bit of tape and then she uses this for like the top of the eyeliner. So again, I'm gonna need my mirror out for this. That's one done. I feel like I can't look up now, otherwise it will literally pull the tape off. Oh my Lord, what have I gotten myself into here? Does that even look good? No, I've completely gone over the line. This is tricky, you guys. I feel like I've stuck on the tape. I feel like one might be bigger than the other. I'm now gonna take my color burst palette. I feel like I can't even look at you guys. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna take the color burst palette in collab with Revolution. I'm gonna take the shade Coco, which is like a really dark brown. It's almost black. I'm gonna take it on quite a dense eyeshadow brush and basically just fill this gap in that we have created with the tape. Oh my gosh, if this doesn't even look good, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, so I feel like I filled it enough. It's now time for the grand reveal. That's the top. Okay, let's see the bottom now. I'm so scared. I mean, it's definitely ruined my foundation. So I would suggest doing this if you're gonna do it before you do your foundation. I mean, that wing is very sharp. Like look at that, especially this one it is super sharp and it's very precise. Considering I did this with an eyeshadow, it looks very, very sharp. So that's a really cool technique for that, I guess. But I mean, it didn't connect to the bottom of my eye here. And that's because of the placement of the tape. Like the placement of the tape is so important with this. I guess that's something you can just go ahead with like a little precise brush afterwards and just touch up yourself. But to be honest, I am very impressed with how sharp the wing is and it looks pretty symmetrical actually. I'm now just gonna go into my inner corner with the eyeshadow on a really precise brush to kind of tie the whole thing together. Okay, so that is the full finished eyeliner. I actually really like it. Now that I've like touched it up a little bit, it looks pretty much perfect. Like the angle is perfect. The actual symmetry between the two is pretty spot on as well. So even though the technique is a little bit long winded and it kind of ruins your foundation, I would definitely say it works. So I'm very impressed. Okay, the next hack is actually a lipstick hack, which I'm so excited to try because I have seen so many people try this on TikTok. One of those people is being Nikki Tutorials. This is what she did and honestly, it looks incredible. The hack is basically to apply a liquid lipstick, like maybe two or three shades and then you just use your lips to blend the whole thing together and somehow it creates like the perfect gradient. I've seen a lot of people do this straight to their lips but I am actually gonna line my lips with a lip liner first. Okay so now that my lips are lined I'm gonna take three different lipstick shades that are kind of like nude and neutral. I'm going from a pink to a peach to kind of like a brownie color. Two of these lipsticks are actually from my Roxx Revolution lip collection. If you guys haven't checked it out I'll link it in the description. So I'm gonna start off with the pink. I'm gonna do that on this why? This is not my day, you guys. It just is not my day. So firstly, I'm gonna start off with one of my lipsticks in the shade Tokyo, and I'm just gonna apply that in the corner. I'm then gonna take this liquid lipstick in the shade Salty. I'm pretty sure this is from Tarte. And I'm just gonna apply that in the center. And lastly, to kind of switch it up, I'm gonna take the shade London from Roxy X Revolution. And I'm just gonna apply that on the other side. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've got three shades going on. I'm now just gonna use my lips to blend it all out. Let's do it. Okay. 
Okay, so this is how it looks. What do we think? I feel like it looks pretty good, actually. The lipstick I used in the middle, which is the top one, I feel like it's a little bit too dry for this because it wasn't really gliding on. But to be honest, I actually feel like it looks pretty funky. The gradient that we got is still pretty good and like the transition between each color is so seamless. I feel like if you did this with slightly more adventurous colors, it would look so freaking cool, especially for like Halloween or something. Imagine doing like black like Nikki did and then like a red on the inside. It would look so cool. So yeah, this hack definitely works. I'm giving it a big thumbs up. All right, guys. So this is my full face of viral TikTok hacks. Let's assess everything together. So first things first, I feel like my under eye is actually looking pretty good. It doesn't look cakey at all. So yeah, that concealer hack, I feel like definitely works. Definitely try it out if you struggle with having creasy concealer. Now my eyeshadow, I feel like, mm, it's seen better days. I mean, it works, but I could definitely do a way better job just freehand. The eyeliner is amazing. I love it so much. I mean, look how like symmetrical it looks. I literally used a brown eyeshadow for this and it literally looks as if I used like a liquid liner. That's how precise it is. And lastly, the lip, the lip I love. I think this is such a cool hack and it turned out really nice. Let me know down below which one of these hacks was your favorite. Which one have you tried yourself? Will you ever try any? and if you have any of your own definitely comment them down below as always thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video if you enjoyed make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below be sure to subscribe as well but that is all from me thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.